This oyster dish can also be done with shrimp. It can also be done with little scallops as well. It's absolutely fantastic. Take a look at this. I have um, a stick of room temperature butter that I want to soften up. That's one of the keys that you want to do first is to soften up the butter. And then, once the butter is soft, now we're going to be able to flavor it. So, I'm going to add uh, a little bit of uh, garlic in here that I'm going to mix. You know, great classic compound butter, maitre d' hotel butter. You might remember many years ago being on a lot of dishes like steak or sole. So, I have that. And now, uh, I've got one shallot. So I'm going to cut this down here and try to get it as small as possible. Perfect. I prefer to hand cut the uh, shallots and the garlic instead of a food processor for uh, these particular dishes. Particular I don't really uh, want to bring out the water. I want to bring out the flavor of this. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the shallot and the garlic and the butter. And then we'll um, take a little bit of fresh parsley as well. The leaves of the fresh parsley. And we'll put a little chop right on that. Very, very, very simple. Now you could also add wine, cherry, you could add vinegar. You could add a lot of different flavor components to your compound butter. All right, so now I have parsley, shallots, garlic, and now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of salt in here and uh, a little bit of fresh ground pepper, and then we're going to just sort of mix this up, and that makes our compound butter. Now, you can easily store it uh, in a container covered, or you can put it in a little plastic wrap. Wow, oh, that looks terrific. Now, let's get right down to the dish. Oysters. You know, I buy oysters at the fish market.